Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. Maybe you've known someone who is in need of an organ transplant. Finding a donor isn't easy, nor is it quick. In a situation where time is of the essence, the wait can be painful, that is, if you're even lucky to get an organ donated at all. Well soon, this may become a thing of the past. Researchers have just made a breakthrough by 3D printing a heart from real human cells. This is one step closer to a future where 3D organs can be printed on the Since the 1800s, scientists have developed vaccines and medicines by growing cells in glass petri dishes. It was instrumental in advancing biological science for the past few centuries. In recent years, with the advent of 3D printing, the 2D petri dish has now been upgraded to another dimension. A revolution has started to develop lab-grown organs for transplants. Researchers at Israel's Tel Aviv University have just successfully 3D printed a heart made from real human cells. Previously, this was only achieved with non-organic materials such as silicon. Beyond incredible potential breakthrough in making organs in a lab. Israeli researchers have printed a 3D heart complete with muscle and blood vessels. They explain that the cells that made the heart came from a donor's fat tissue, which were then transformed into embryonic stem cells and then differentiated into the various cell types in the heart. The heart is small, only about the size of a rabbit's heart. However, researchers were able to create chambers and veins which nobody had previously achieved before. The researchers envision creating 3D printed hearts suitable for human transplants and also patches which can regenerate defective tissue. Professor Tao Dever, who led the project, stated, quote, This was the first time anyone anywhere has successfully engineered and printed an entire heart replete with cells, blood vessels, ventricles and chambers, end quote. With that being said, some obstacles still stand in the way. While the cells can contract, they do not possess the ability to pump, which is the researcher's next objective. But there are still many advantages in comparison to traditional organ transplants to be optimistic about. Normally, in organ transplants, the body may reject an incoming organ. This is due to the immune system sensing antigens in the cells of the organ, which do not match the rest of the body's cells. For kidneys, about 25% of transplant patients experience an episode of severe rejection in the first year of the transplant. And for heart transplants, that number rises to 40%. But this 3D printed heart uses human tissue as the bio-ink. Here's how it works. A sample of cells can be taken from the patient and a 3D organ can be printed with a personal hydrogel made from their own cells. This potentially resolves rejection issues. This isn't the first time researchers have printed a heart. In 2017, scientists in Zurich, Switzerland 3D printed an artificial heart. But instead of using human tissue, they were only able to achieve the feat using soft, flexible silicon material. The heart was able to push and pull water through intricate chambers at a rate of 80 beats per minute. However, it was only able to pump for 3,000 beats in a row, or approximately half an hour. The Zurich heart was able to achieve a pump flow of 2.2 litres per minute. This is about two to three times less than the human heart. Still far from what's required to keep a human alive, but not bad for a replica. Apart from the application of building replacement organs, 3D printing is being used to develop new medicines. For example, what if rather than being given a one-size-fits-all medication, doctors and scientists can model your illness and apply the right exact procedure or medicine for your case? By building tumours in labs using 3D printing, researchers are attempting to do just that. A team at McMaster University in Canada have developed a rapid magnetic 3D bioprinting system which can build a replica of a cancerous tumour in as little as 6 hours. The idea is then to test different drugs and treatments changing the dosage and frequency to see which one works best. Then after the lab testing, the patient would be given a tailor-made medication program. This could decrease side effects and more importantly, increase the chances of survival for the patient. So this recent breakthrough of 3D printing a heart with real human cells foreshadows a future where on-demand organs are available without waiting lists. According to some estimates, this reality could be less than a decade away. Though all of this raises some interesting questions for human life. How much longer could we extend our lives if we easily could replace body parts? Would most people want to do that? And what about the price of a new heart? Will everyone be able to afford it? At first, predictably, such technology might only be available to the rich. But in the future, prices may come down far enough so that the technology could be cheap and routine. And after this, what comes next? High-capacity lungs that can provide oxygen more efficiently? 
or heart attack proof hearts that are resistant to failure. The future of biotech is an interesting one. As we move from making the best cars, phones and computers, perhaps the next big revolution will be the upgrading of our bodies. So what's your opinion on such a future? Do you think that it will prevent early deaths and suffering? Or does this kind of thing bother you and should we let nature take its course? Let me know in the comments section below, I'm interested to know your thoughts. These 3D printing developments are all very interesting for me. I did my university thesis on 3D printing just before it exploded into the commercial space. So for me to see the progress and diversity of its applications in such a short amount of time has been mind blowing.